What is up guys, you all know your boy Firefly here, and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Amateur Surgeon. Alright, so, when we last left off, we were, we just entered into File 3. And what's weird about uh, File 3, it's not like Files 1 and 2, where there's 10 patients, there's 7 patients, so it's kind of weird. So here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, 4 cases for this one, and then I'm going to do the last 3 uh, in the next episode, and then also... I uh, unlock Superman. I do not think I'm going to be able to unlock Bum because in order to unlock him, you need a total score of a million points of on all of your cases, and I only have a little less than 300,000. But uh, to, in order to unlock Delirium, you just have to beat the game, which I'm which I'm going to do. So in the final episode, I'm going to be doing the last three cases and uh, Superman and Delirium, but. For now, I'm just going to be doing the next four cases for this episode. So yeah, just want to point that out to you guys. So we're going to start out with Trent. Guys, <coughs> I was just walking along minding my own business and suddenly some girl stabbed me. Look! Why are you naked? Alan, whatever happened, those wounds are deep. We need to operate. Alright, so we're dealing with Trent again. If you don't remember him, he's the one who robbed the bank. I'm gonna start off by pulling the knife blade out. Jesus. And now we got scorpions. If I remember correctly, you need to use the chainsaw. No, that's just great. Yeah, you need to use the chainsaw to deal with the scorpions. I screwed up the first time I did this, and I used the freaking car battery, and his heart stopped immediately. And I actually kept doing that for uh, the next couple of times I tried it. Until I realized, uh, it's probably not the car battery that's causing this. Or that I need to use. Alright, let's suck that up before it soaks back in. Alright. Uh, stapler. Let's burn those up. Probably not a good idea to leave five burn wounds. Let's heal those up. Jesus, the patient has lost quite a bit of blood already. Come on. Alright. Need to use the corkscrew immediately after I heal the burn. Alright, 8 4. Should have probably done it over the cut, but you know. Whatever, force of habit. What can I do? Alright, should be good now. I hope I don't run out of time, because I. They made it so that you can't just, like, be a little jerk and just keep on corkscrewing them and keep on healing their health. You have to actually, like, pay attention to the time. Alright, chainsaw. I missed. He's dead. And he's dead. Alright. Uh, I'll vacuum. Well, screen kind of froze there for a sec. He already went down to 24 again. Let me do a corkscrew. Alright. Staple your lungs up. He's whoever stabbed you did quite a very, very uh, ter er, terrific job. Holy crap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of amazing that you're still breathing, actually. I'm not gonna lie. And then she also found a way to put scorpions in your body also. Oh yeah, I have to shock this also. Alright. Wait, what? Yeah, I have to shock the hive, right? No, am I doing this wrong? Yeah, I had I'm an idiot. Well, 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 alright. This wasn't like when I was operating on harass where I had a well whatever all right I'll see you guys in the part where I left off all right back to killing bugs <laughs> god damn it I'm a surgeon I'm not an exterminator why do I have to be like I need to shock one bug and I need to chainsaw the other buddy oh it's weird like that but what can you do 
God, I'm sorry, buddy, if I'm chainsawing you, but this freaking scorpion won't leave me alone. It's also leaving quite a bit of poison behind. Holy crap. Come on, I can't have you be infected on me now. He's doing quite a little dance over there, I'm not gonna lie. Is that the scorpion, uh mating dance of the I don't even know well, I gotta soak that up and put a corkscrew in him fast alright good alright let's try and do this I have to close that many cuts up. Holy crap. No, no, hold on. Can I do this? I hope so. I have plenty of time, right? This is like the last one I have to do. I hope. Come on. Why aren't any of the wounds healing? Oh my god. This is bad. Oh, this is gonna last forever. Alright, you guys didn't need to see me closing all those wounds, right? Alright, so. Barely made it with 7 seconds to spare. That was amazing. Where is he? I'll kill him! You're the girl from the warehouse. What? Were you following Trent? You're the ones who have been undoing all my work. Do you have any idea how hard I've been working to take those filthy criminals down? What? You're the one going around attacking everyone. I thought it was that Horace guy. Who? You disgust me, but it doesn't matter. I've almost got him. I've been waiting so long. Wait! Alan, that girl who was just here. She's the one from the warehouse that showed up after I fixed that creepy French dude. I tried to tell you. I know that girl. I believe it's me she's looking for. She wants to kill me. What? That's insane. I'm afraid not. I killed her parents. I'm a murderer, Alan. She can explain her. She can explain to you herself. We're going back to the old hospital. My old hospital. Mission complete. All right. It was six seconds to spare. That's pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. Alright, now we're going back to a vomiting Peter. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we, we just dealt with him like five cases ago, so we're just seeing him again. Doctors, the weird guy in the trench coat in the alley said you'd be here. It happened again. I'm poisoned. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, man. Hold in there, Peter. Oh, Peter. It doesn't really help that your skin is green. It's kind of creeping me out. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. It's kind of interesting how these people are able to get bugs into their victims just by, like, stabbing them and crap. This is... A lot of fire on your stomach. I'm sorry if it hurts. Alright. Cut that spider egg open. I hope it's not bad that I'm just releasing, like, a bunch of baby spiders in your insides, is it? Do they just, like, die in your liquid of blood? They drown in your blood, huh? Alright. I can take... I can accept that. Oh, come on. What the hell? Doing this again? I don't know why, but, like, whenever there's, like, eight stacks of cuts on top of each other, like, the burn, like, glitches out. And, like, it doesn't always work. that little wound up. 
Oh, that seems to be working kind of fine now. Yeah. All right, now let's heal them up. Is that all of them? All right, there's one more down there. Thought you could hide from me. Let's make a small. In well, actually, let's do this first. All right. Make a small incision in the stomach. Oh, there's another one over there. This doesn't really seem that much different from when you were infected with spider eggs the last time. I don't know why you're taking it so much more seriously. Alright. Oh god, he's losing blood fast. Let's do this. Does anyone else follow me of how he's able to get cuts in his stomach acid? Uh, whatever. It is a video game after all. And what better way to play video games than the ones that are most unrealistic? Let's vacuum you up, you little poison little spuds. Alright, let's burn those up. I'll probably have to do more after this, but whatever. Oh, 10 BPM left. That's not good. Let's heal that. Alright, let's do, put some pain away in y'all. Alright. There's probably more after this, huh? Let's you sketch? Yeah, I thought as much. Alright. Alright, experiencing a little bit of lag, but whatever. Nothing much I can do. Really, another spider came out? Oh my god. Should probably shock that before any more come out. Well, well, well. Oh no! <laughs> god damn it. Alright, uh, vacuum. And there's even more poison growing in him. Well, that is just great. You know, I don't think I can save him. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can save him. There's way too much effort for me on my part, and I cannot deal with it. <laughs> well, we're gonna go back to that part, and then... Yeah, hopefully I won't have to deal with that much crap. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm back. You know, this case isn't even that hard. I always just fail it, though, because what it does is that it keeps on uh, dragging on and on and on because there's three scorpion hives in his stomach. And then they just leave be behind a lot of poison that you have to deal with, and it sucks because, uh, you know, you have to, like, cut all the poison out, suck it all up, and do it again. And the only reason I always lose is because I run out of time, and that's it. But, I have come up with a solution for this, and what I did was, uh, I, uh, like, corkscrewed him with the pain away gel until his, uh, health went, like, all the way up to 99. And then, yeah, so that way I wouldn't have to corkscrew him and repair his health afterwards. So, it was a real time saver. And also, I don't know why, but the friggin' audio just stopped for no reason. But it's alright, I'm sure you guys don't mind, right? You don't care if, like, you hear them yell when they get hurt. Or, uh, me cutting them open. I'm sure you guys don't, but... Hopefully, uh... Yeah, hopefully you don't, and you don't care about small details like that. I'm just gonna close up those in his stomach.
Alright, let's heal those up. Well, let me get my mic away from my mouth. You probably can hear me breathing. <laughs> Alright, let's close those up and we should be about done. A little bit of a lag there, but whatever. Alright, that is it. With th a 3 BPM left on Peter. Uh, and he's still somehow able to stand. Ugh, thank you. I don't know what happened. Peter, have you seen a girl around here? A girl? No. But I heard the city's crime boss is plenty mad about what's been happening to everyone. He's on his way. I have to get out of here. Mr. Carruthers will get nervous. Alright, mission complete. Moving on to henchmen and boss. <laughs> Just like how they said. I guess we're going to operate on them too. Doctor! Wait, is that doctor with a K? Uh, Russian dudes? I don't know. Doctor! We are dry... We... We are dry. Okay, whatever. We are dry here to kill a person who is hurting all our lovely criminals. But someone has cut our brakes. We are crashing to sewage farm. Was not fun. Alan, you must be very, very careful. We need to treat them back to back. I shudder to think what would happen should one of them perish on our table. I understand. Quickly then. Alright, boss. Alright, let's take that out. Looks like the license plate. Did that license plate say ouch on it? I think it did. Whatever. Let's close those up pretty fast because, remember, if you remember what he said, we do have to operate on two of them at once. Well, not two of them at once, just like two back to back. And I think, like, we're given like 10 minutes on this uh, whole entire thing, but I think the time uh, goes on to when we're operating on henchmen next. Let's uh, corkscrew him before I cut him open and look inside. I'll let the tiny cut behind. Alright, let's heal that up. Oh, wait. No. I meant to freaking click on the lighter and I clicked on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, now let's cut him open. Ugh. Oh, a lot of things on him. Hold on. Alright, sorry, I was checking something. I thought my phone was ringing. Do I, uh, pick them up? No? I don't know. I'll deal with them later. Let's take, take that, these things first. Heal that up. Yeah. Put the paint away. Alright, do I pick them up? Yeah, I picked them up. I don't know what was going on. What are these things anyway, by the way? Are those leeches? I think they are leeches. And I think, uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, but I, I, did I pick up the stapler? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Yeah, and I think we're also picking up their teeth from the holes. Alright. Did I really need like five staples on that one? Uh whatever. Alright, heal those up. And then there's the last one over there. Stapler. Alright, let's chainsaw this lung out. Alright, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh if you like uh don't chainsaw the organ out in a certain amount of time it resets and then it act, it uh makes you start over because it just says like oh you went too slow <laughs> so we're gonna so we're gonna make you start over which is kind of bs in my opinion because i mean i mean if they gave you more time i guess it would be understandable but they give you like next to no time to chainsaw the thing out because if i like took like maybe one more second to finish chainsawing the thing, I probably would have gotten, like, the error. Alright, let's try and do this one now. Uh, hold on, let me corkscrew him, because 
chainsawing those organs out do take a toll on them. Alright, oh come on, come on. Alright, I did it. There. And yeah. Alright, let's put that in there. One more corkscrew, and yeah. Let's burn that up. Yo yo! Alright, let's grab it. Alright, let's take those out. Put the new set of lungs in. Yeah. I wish organ transplants were this easy in real life. Unfortunately, they aren't. Because, hey, you kind of need your lungs to breathe, even if it's like for a split second that they're gone. Kind of need them. Alright. Almost done, and then I think we are moving on to henchmen after this. Let's staple you up. Yeah. Alright, let's go do this, henchman. Damn, he has even a freaking. He has the whole entire steering wheel on his chest. Alright, let's burn the leeches first and grab them out. Alright. The driving wheel out. Holy crap, that is a big ass wound on him, I'm not gonna lie. Let's burn that all up, and then we'll be able to operate on him from the inside afterwards. Heal. Alright, let's cut him open now. Wait, hold on, let me corkscrew him a little bit. He is pretty damaged. Alright, now we'll go inside after I burn this up. See what we got. We got more leeches and the other half of the CD. Alright, sample that up first of all. But first we're gonna burn yous. Munch it on your liver. How did the leeches even get in him? I don't know. They sure as hell didn't go in through his mouth, or his, I don't know. Did they go in through where the driving wheel was? I don't know. Alright, let's put those up. Heal them up, and then... I think there's one more place that we have to cut into after this. Yeah. Alright, let's cut that open. Ugh. That's like the king of the leeches right there? Yeah, I have to burn him, I guess. What? He's getting bigger. Ugh. Now let's kill his babies. Alright, let's take those out. Holy crap. Sucking on your heart, isn't that classic? I think that surgery just about does it. You just need to staple these up, and I think we're finished here. Staple, staple, staple. Burn those. Heal, 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 heal. Alright, that just about does it. Let's just staple up his, uh, let's staple up his left breast, and then we'll be done. Alright. Those two will sleep for a while. We must find Aurora, Aurora, before she gets hurt. God damn it, I still don't know how to pronounce her name. Wait. Doesn't she want to kill you? I think the poor girl has been driven mad with grief. If it's me she wants, 
I should speak to her. This isn't her fault, Alan. Wait, who is that? Alright, mission complete. Moving on to Junk, who is the last case for this episode. Yeah, I don't wonder what happened this time. Doc, thanks a goodness is <laughs> thank God damn it, thank goodness you is here. I think I ate something really bad. I mean a girl stopped by and gave me a sandwich. She was real pretty. I ate it in kind of hurry, but it tasted like metal. And now Do I not know how to Oh wow. I hope that's a clock. Alright, let's take a look at Guts and see what he done to himself this time. Oh, well, you know, he he somehow ate a bomb without even realizing it. Alright, let's take these, uh, whatever they are off. Alright, so I think on the itchy sketch it says, yeah, yeah, it says which order you have to cut them in. Which is kind of weird that it's that shows up on the itchy sketch. Alright, disarmed it a little bit. We still need to, uh take out the pins out of the firing cylinders or the firing pins out of the cylinders yeah so and then now I have to burn those things over there this mission is actually really really easy I don't know why it's so easy but you know whatever disable him up and we're done a bomb Oh, yowzers. So I near I was nearly blowed up? Yes. <sighs> but don't touch it. We didn't quite manage to defuse it completely. So you've done it again, have you? Fix some worthless low-life criminal? You! You was at the junkyard! You tried to kill me! You're crazy! I'm not crazy! Ariola. What? How do you know my name? Who are you? You don't recognize me, child? Well, maybe that's understandable. I am somewhat gone to ruin. I am the man you're looking for. I was a surgeon who operated on your parents. I'm sorry they died. I understand you mean to take your vengeance. I must admit, I have thought about ending it myself. In fact, not too long ago, I deliberately stepped out in front of a pizza van. If it weren't for this extraordinary young man here, well... Dr. Bleed? Yes. Oh, doctor, I thought... But it's not you I'm looking for. It's him. Mission complete. Somewhat of a plot twist in the storyline, but we'll find out next time what she meant. So that's it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It really means a lot to me. Other than that, that wraps up this video. This is Firefly signing off. Until next time, goodbye. See you guys in the next episode.